formed against you. And the thing that the Bible says, not that they won't be formed, they're going to come. But what the word said was that they would not prosper. And the enemy will throw weapons at us, brother, and we will start to run. And really, the weapon didn't prosper. We just ran. But it told us that they would come, but they wouldn't prosper. And I declare to you today, no matter what the enemy is throwing at you, it ain't going to work. Am I talking right? I don't even know your name, but I know what I hear. They won't prosper. Father, in the name of Jesus, I put my hands on you. Father, in the name of Jesus. God, we thank you. We bless you for his life. God, whatever the things is that he's been through, you declare today that many are the afflictions of the righteous, but you will deliver us out of them all. You told us today that we'd be all right, and we're standing on your promises. Even when we don't feel like it's all right, you told us that we'll be all right, and we thank you. We give you praise, and we give you glory, and we give you honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Somebody celebrate for his new place. say this was home. That's it. I like that when a hand go up. When a hand go up, that means he's doing something. He's doing something. Let him do what he want to do. That's what I'm talking about. Celebrate what God is doing in his life. You will never be the same. Hallelujah. Amen. 
That's a sign to you that God still answers prayer. Even those other things that you're praying for, that's a sign that God still answers prayer. Don't you quit. Don't you give up. Somebody help us celebrate. We don't let folks celebrate at all. I don't know what our prayer is, but God still answers prayer. does not mean denied. He's the only one that can show up late and still be on time. Struggle. 
struggle. And the Bible says that a just man falleth seven times. Uh -huh. And it's interesting that he uses the number seven because the number seven represents the number of completion. A just man, he didn't say a sinner, but he said a just man. Job was a just and a perfect and an upright man. This man falleth seven times, but he get back up again. Right. No matter how many times you feel like you've fallen, it ain't in the falling, but it's in the getting back up. It ain't in the mess up, but it's in the get up. And don't allow anybody to tell you that you've gone too far that the love of God can't reach you. Because when we, the Bible says that when we were yet sinners, that means I didn't have it all together. He didn't wait for me to get it right, but when I was in my mess, it was then that he died for me. That's right, that's right, amen. When we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. He said, I passed by you and I saw you because his eyes is in every place. He said, I passed by you and I saw you polluted in your own mess. He said, I didn't fuss at you. I didn't curse at you. He said, but I gave you one word. That's right. And he said, live. Live. No matter how far you've gone, God speaks to you today and he said, live. Live, that's right. Amen. And even when you couldn't come to the altar Amen. by yourself, there are people that like Aaron and her that will hold you up to bring you to get what you need. You're not in this alone. Amen. You're not by yourself. But today God says to you, live. Amen. Don't you repent another time. Don't you cry about it another time. Don't you worry about it another time. God said, I move you from many of the afflictions until the Lord deliver them out of them all. Don't go back to that old place. That's right. Live. 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 L-I-V-E. Live. Live. Somebody say Amen.
know this is going to sound very crazy. <clears throat> Sister Barbara, God's doing it for you, Brother Michael. Sister Barbara, Sister Erlene, or Mother K. Park, I just want y'all to holler one time at the same time. I just, I, I just want y'all to holler. Whatever you feel on the inside, just holler one good time. I don't know you 
to but do you have a church home? You do? He spoke okay. home. Well, that's right. Okay. That's right. Amen. He said, I wouldn't call it a home. But I call it membership. someone here that would like to be a member of this church just walk down Yesterday at the luncheon, the lady told me, she said, small fish, big pond. She said, the trials you face are great because of what God is doing through you. She said, people are going to begin to visit and they're going to call it home. He used the word. First time visitors, right? He said he didn't mean to say home, but he don't know what happened. I extend the right hand of fellowship to you. Name, I don't even have your name. Stephen Corbett. Stephen Corbett, I extend the right hand of fellowship to you. Welcome to Cornerstone Church of God in Christ. Stay faithful, and I believe that God is going to do great things for you. Sharony, Sharony, welcome to Cornerstone Church of God in Christ. 
As I told him, stay faithful, and I believe that God is going to do great things for you. We're so glad to have both of you here with us. God bless you. Let's celebrate them, Cornerstone. Hallelujah. Will there be another? Amen. We'll fellowship with you after service. Hallelujah. Somebody just shout, here we grow again. three and two Sundays. <laughs> and you wonder why we need a welcome song. Somebody asked, are we going to sing it every Sunday? I believe we're going to be singing it every Sunday. Amen. Amen. Just a few things I want to say before we dismiss. Um, God is doing great things in our midst. Um, we know that we have a, a couple of things that will be coming up. I want all membership, if you will, uh, next Sunday, if you'll stick around after service just to, for a little while. I want to have a, a quick business meeting next Sunday after service. Um, so all membership, please uh, come next Sunday and be prepared to stick around for a short business meeting. Amen? Amen. Amen. Um, I think that's all that I have. No, there will be no Bible study the Wednesday before Thanksgiving. So we will have Bible study this coming Wednesday, but not um, the week of Thanksgiving. So I look forward to seeing you all here on Wednesday night. Amen. 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 Um, let me see if there are any other announcements that I need to announce. Business meeting on the third Sunday after service. Bible study on this Wednesday night. Um, I think that is all the announcements that I have at this current time. Um, we're all standing. Yes. Um, just a reminder, thank you, that this Saturday night at 5 o'clock p.m., um, Brother Michael will be doing his initial message. And, amen. Amen. And so we want to come and be of support to him. We want to come in prayer, praying for him this week. Um, I want us to go back to our national fast days on Tuesdays and Fridays. The National Co Church of God of Christ fast days are on Tuesdays and Fridays from midnight to noon. Um, I want to go back to implementing that or us per uh, participating in that. So if you have not been, now we want you all to start back fasting on Tuesdays and Fridays from midnight to noon. Um, during those fast days this week, I want you to uh, take Tuesday to fast for your pastor, pray for your pastor. Again, everything is, is okay, but I just want you uh, to remember to pray for your pastor, and not only me, but also uh, Lady Shay as well. On Thursday, we want, well, Friday, Tuesday and Friday, Friday, we want to uh, pray for Brother Michael as he prepare to do his initial message on Saturday. Invite someone, uh, tell a friend, and let them know that he will be doing his initial message um, on Saturday. I expect to see all of Cornerstone in the house on Saturday at 5 o'clock. Amen? Amen. 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 Let us pray. Father, we thank you and we bless you for all things. God, we thank you for this day. We thank you for what our eyes have seen and what our ears have heard. God, we thank you for what you are getting ready to do for us and through us on this week. God, we believe that you're going to do great things in our midst. And God, we expect great things. We're looking for great things in the name of Jesus. God, we thank you that you encouraged us today that we will be all right. And God, we take you at your word because you said in your word that uh, um, you said in your word that whatever comes out of your mouth will not return unto you void. But God, we thank you and we bless you. In the name of Jesus, we love you and we praise you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Go in peace. Amen. Let's fellowship with our new members. And let's get... Yes, like, you know. yes. Oh, that thing show you why. Oh, okay. I know I saw Miss Coachman. I'm saying to myself, I know good women. My eyes ain't fooling me. How you doing? Good. You still enjoying that school? Yes. Y'all got one more week. You got to be out for the whole week coming up to Thanksgiving. Oh, okay. Okay, that's good. All right, babe.
Oh, you gotta get that picture. Oh, how you doing, y'all? Let me get my own car and you be careful. Girl, this time to me, I'm, I home with my head. What's up, what's up, you guys? It's your girl, Shella. Perfect. Come on over and check out our channel, Promo SDK Reality TV, husband and wife, where we eat good in the neighborhood. We're a mukbang eating show, cooking and recipes, especially soul food, pranks on Frank. Oh, y'all go check it out. Challenges, vlogs, comedy skits, short videos, and TikTok. So come on and become our oh yeah baby today. Subscribe to our channel. Follow us on Instagram, promo SDK, promo SDK. Or you can also go to any of our social sites and find us under promo STK. Oh yeah, baby. We can't wait to see you. We can't wait to meet you. So come on over.